Now, Patrick Kane's attorney says the hoax is casting doubt on the accuser. News Force Dave Graber continues our team coverage now. Dave? Well, Jackie Kane's attorney, Paul Cambria, went on the offensive today, saying the accuser should now be the accused. This the accuser and her mother knew what they were doing when they handed their attorney an evidence bag and said they had found it stuffed inside their front door. That's according to Kane's attorney, Paul Cambria, who said today that knowledge means a crime has been committed. I said from the beginning it was a hoax. It's obvious what the intent was. Cambria responded this afternoon to the statements from Erie County DA Frank Sedita. Cambria said he never lost confidence in the evidence gathering process, and especially the results of the DNA test taken from the victim, which he says showed the presence of multiple males, none of whom were Patrick Kane. There was an effort here with an item that the actual accuser knew the character of to, if you will, undermine the science that completely supports my client. Uh, I had no doubt that the integrity of the evidence was going to be intact. Uh, I had confidence that uh, the people had collected it properly and tested it properly. And uh, they proved that today in spades. He said that investigation should weigh heavily on whether the county's top prosecutor seeks charges against Kane's accuser or her mother. The final decision rests with Sedita, but Cambria said the intent alone is against the law. An attempt is a crime in, in New York, uh, just as much as a completed crime is. Why else would you do this if you weren't trying to undermine something you weren't happy with? Now, late last night, the alleged victim's family issued a statement saying they were disappointed that Iwanu had dropped out, but they said they'll continue pursuing the case to a, quote, just conclusion. Reporting live in the studio, Dave Graber, News 4 at 5.